Hi everybody, today in math class we continued working on equivalent ratios. Today we are proving whether a set of ratios are truly equal or if they're not equal. So the first example we're going to do here is there are 35 boys in sixth grade. The number of girls in sixth grade is 42. Lonnie says that means the ratio of the number of boys in the sixth grade to the number of girls in the sixth grade is five to seven. Is Lonnie correct? Show why or why not? So I'm going to start by taking the ratio five to seven. And right here it's written with a colon. We know we can also write it with the word two, T-O, or as a fraction. When I compare ratios, I prefer them written in the fraction bar form because it just helps me set the numbers up easier to be able to see the connection. So five represents, it says a number of boys to girls. So the first number five represents the boys and the number seven is going to represent the ratio of girls. So keeping that in mind, it also said that there are 35 boys and the number of girls is 42. So we're going to know that Lonnie is correct if these work out. So we know that we've looked at patterns and if we can find equal sets of the ratio five to seven in another ratio with nothing left over, we know that they have to be equal. So for example, my ratio five, I know I can pull out five, or seven sets of five to make 35. So for that to be equal, I'd also have to pull out seven sets of seven to make 42. But in this case, seven sets of seven does not equal 42, it equals 49. So in this case, when we go to, is Lonnie correct? The answer is no, he is not correct because the ratio five to seven is equal to 35 to 49 not 35 to 42. So another way that we can show the same thing is if we did a quick tape diagram. And I'm gonna take this one and divide it equally into five equal parts, there's our boys. And take the other one and divide it equally into seven equal parts. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, good. All right, and because here it told me if this is equal to 35, the other one would have to be equal to 42. Well, here, five equal parts, 35 divided by five, tells me that each of these equal parts has to be e equal to seven. Here is 42, and I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 42 divided by seven is equal to six, not seven. So they're not the same. They don't have the same constant in there. So again, that's just a second way to say, is Lonnie correct? It is not, he is not correct. And I've shown you two different ways. One way to set up equal ratios and see if there is a constant number that you can either multiply or divide by that works for both parts of your ratio or proving it again by using your tape diagram. And if you use a tape diagram, each of these parts should have the same number. This one has a six, this has a seven. So therefore they're not equal. I hope this helps make a difference today.